On this episode of the DC Eric Show, we go back to 2007 with Jetpack Refueled for the Xbox 360, created by Rare. I bought this game sometime in the summer, and it's an HD remake of the original Jetpack, which was released in 1983 for the ZX Spectrum. The remake includes new features, which will make you enjoy the game even more. There's 120 levels, an online leaderboard, multiplayer mode, and new high-definition graphics. The game also includes Xbox Live achievements. The motive of the game is to collect parts to build a rocket and collect fuel to fill up the rocket, while dodging and destroying enemies so you can go off to the next level. Okay, now time for some history of the Jetpack series. Jetpack was the first game ever created by Rare, which was then known as Ultimate Play the Game, and was written by Chris Stamper and Tim Stamper. They were the guys behind the Donkey Kong Country series and a few other popular Rare titles for the Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64. They both then started working with Microsoft after Rare was bought out by Microsoft. They helped bring a few titles to the Xbox 360 like Cameo Elements of Power, Perfect Dark Zero, and Viva Pinata. In January 2007, both left Microsoft for different opportunities, so they didn't work on Jetpack Refueled, which was released at the end of March in 2007. Jetpack has two other sequels, Lunar Jetman released for ZX Spectrum and other classic consoles, Solar Jetman Hunt for the Golden Warship, which was only released for the original Nintendo. In Lunar Jetman, you drive a vehicle on a purple moon while patching holes with rail tracks and killing enemies, while protecting a bomb which is used to destroy alien bases. You have a limited amount of time to destroy these bases or Earth will be destroyed. You must protect yourself, your vehicle, and planet Earth or it's game over. In Solar Jetman Hunt for the Golden Warship, you fly a small ship which is equipped with a gun to destroy enemies. In the game, you collect equipment for your ship so you can travel to the next planet. This game was created by Zippo Games for Rare and it wasn't a big hit to the consumer and didn't sell too well. So Rare halted on making it for the ZX Spectrum. There was a fully completed version for the Commodore 64 but was never officially released. So this game was only released for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Back in 1999, Donkey Kong 64 was released for the Nintendo 64, and once again, Jetpack would see the light as an unlockable, playable game. If you collect 15 banana tokens, you can play it in Cranky's Tavern, or you can collect 5,000 points to obtain a rare token and photograph six banana fairies to unlock the game in the mystery menu. Years later, after Microsoft purchased Rare, Jetpack would again see the light with Jetpack refueled for Xbox Live Arcade on the Xbox 360. The game's controls make it easy for you to fly around and pick up parts to make your spacecraft and collect fuel to power it up and go to the next level. In each level, there is enemies that will try and stop you from making your spacecraft and stop you from collecting fuel and other items. In the beginning levels, the enemies aren't that hard, but do gradually get more difficult in the higher levels. There is also special weapons and a smart bomb in the game that will help you along the way. Trust me, the smart bomb will come in handy for some levels which come fueled with a crazy amount of enemies. The special weapons include a spreader gun that can shoot up and down, a laser gun that will shoot farther to the end of the screen, and a gun that shoots up and right. The sound in the game is a complete overhaul compared to its older brother it's based off of. There is now music in the game that kind of has a spacey arcade sound to it and new sound effects. The new updated graphics are nice and polished, but if you don't like what you see, you can play the original jetpack as well. There's 120 levels in the game and every level is larger than the original jetpack, which makes the game have more difficulty as you can fly to higher parts of the level while dodging enemies and collecting parts and fuel for your rocket. Can you reach 128 levels? Well, the Xbox 360 saves your game every time you come to a level where you have to make a new rocket. So you can start off with the rocket you were using for the levels you last played. In multiplayer mode, you can either play on one Xbox 360 or play over Xbox Live. In multiplayer mode, you have to set an amount of time you'd like to play the game. When the game is over, whoever has the highest score wins the game. It can be a bit competitive as you destroy enemies and try to stop your friend from collecting parts by shooting him. In multiplayer mode, you have infinite lives. The game is by no means easy, but if you get the hang of it and prepare long hours of play, you might be able to beat it. 
The one thing that makes this game hard like it's original, it's based off of, is when you're flying, the enemies can appear at any given time, not giving you enough time to dodge them. This, of course, again, is when the smart bomb comes in handy, so make use of it when you need to. I haven't beaten this game yet, but I do play the game from time to time to enjoy the nostalgia and fun I had with the original. This game keeps up to the original and adds more goodies to keep the gameplay up to today's standards. Well, I guess I've come to the end of the show. I was a big fan of Jetpack when I first started playing it on Donkey Kong 64 as an unlockable game. I was even more pleased to see that Rare still had love for the game and decided to make an HD remake of Jetpack for the Xbox 360. There isn't much to hate about the game other than not being able to play with a second player through the whole game instead of just battling for a certain set amount of time. Another plus side to the game is if you don't like playing the HD remake, you can play the original game and it can be played with no hassles. If you would like to get your hands on Jetpack Refuel for the Xbox 360, you can get it on Xbox Live Arcade for 400 Microsoft points. If you would like to grab the original game and its sequels, you can find them at your local gaming shop or on eBay. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the DCRX Show and come back to see another game I couldn't keep my hands off.